Good evening, bonsoir, and welcome to the virtual press conference of the International uh, Agency for Research on Cancer. My name is Nicolas Godin, and I'm the head of communications for IARC here in Lyon. The uh, working group has been meeting to assess the carcinogenic hazards associated with exposure to radio frequency electromagnetic fields and has just finished the evaluations. I'm pleased to have with me here in the IARC studios Dr. Jonathan Summit. Thank you. And I'll hand over to Dr. John Summit. Thank you and uh, good evening. I'm going to briefly summarize uh, the work of a group of 31 uh, international scientists carried out over the uh, last uh, eight days here in uh, Lyon. I think uh, quickly to move to the, the bottom line after reviewing uh, essentially all the evidence uh, that is relevant to looking at radio frequency electromagnetic uh, fields. The uh, working group uh, classified radio frequency electromagnetic fields as possibly carcinogenic to humans. That is within the classification used by the um, International Agency for Research on Cancer or IARC, a 2B classification. The working group reached this uh, classification based on its review of the human evidence coming from epidemiological studies showing an increased risk for glioma, a malignant type of brain cancer in association with uh, wireless phone use. The uh, working group was multidisciplinary and also looked carefully at animal studies in which uh, animals had been exposed to uh, radiation from mobile phones or similar types of radiation. There, there was uh, evidence, limited evidence of an association of cancer risk with that exposure. We also uh, carefully considered uh, the sources of exposure of populations to uh, radio frequency electromagnetic fields, the nature of the, these fields as they come from various uh, devices, including uh, wireless phones. Uh, so I think with that um, summary, I'll uh, turn things back to uh, you and your questions. Thank you, Dr. Summit. Uh, next, Jeff Waters from Australian Broadcasting. Good morning. Thank you for taking the question. Um, the uh, there hasn't been any mention so far, as far as I've heard, and please correct me if I'm wrong, of uh, telephone towers, mobile telephone towers, and their effects on human health. Um, uh, given what you've, uh, the classification that you've given uh, this, uh, d d should we conclude that mobile telephone towers are also included in the possible risk? The designation uh, of for two group two B is radio frequency electromagnetic fields that is unspecified as to source. So the group 2B classification would have broad applicability to sources with this type of emissions. Okay, the reason we're told not to hold the cell phone next to our head is because it's constantly emitting microwave radiation. And as you move it away, you can see the level goes down. And this is what microwave radio frequency radiation sounds like coming from a cell phone antenna. If you live within a few hundred meters of these cell phone antennas, you are exposed to constant microwave radio frequency radiation. And this is 11,000 microwatts per meter squared. 